Mark Rogers TV with you once again, just 24 hours before Super Bowl 45, Packers Steelers. We run down the top 10 Super Bowl quarterbacks of all time and also the best running backs in Super Bowl play. Now we throw the one hit wonders at you. Take on me by AHA. Gotta be my favorite. I also like Breakfast at Tiffany's by Deep Blue Something. Oh yeah, we're talking about the Super Bowl. One hit wonders in the Super Bowl. We couldn't trim it down to five. I've got six for you, beginning with Dexter Jackson. Tampa Bay, Oakland, 2003 in San Diego. Jackson, a fine player for 10 years, but his one shining moment came in that game where he intercepted two passes and won the MVP as the Bucks knocked off the Raiders 48-21. James Washington at number five, Dallas Cowboys, 1994. In the boys' matchup against the Bills, they trailed 13-6 to before Washington took control. He intercepted a pass to stop a Bills rally. He also picked up a fumble and rumbled 46 yards for a touchdown. Washington didn't start for Dallas on defense, but led the team with 11 tackles and made those two huge plays as Dallas came back to beat Buffalo 30-13. At number four, we stay with the Cowboys, move up a few years to 1996. Dallas holds off Pittsburgh in the second half, 27-17, and they do it because Neil O'Donnell threw those two passes right to cornerback Larry Brown. He held on to both. He won the MVP, and the Cowboys stopped the Steelers, 27-17. Brown parlayed that into a huge free agent contract with the Oakland Raiders, and he only played 12 more games in the NFL with the Raiders. At number three, we go all the way back to Max McGee in Super Bowl I. McGee had a stellar career for the Packers. He went to the Pro Bowl once. He caught 345 passes career with 51 touchdowns. But at this point in his career, he was a backup. He was a third stringer, and it took an injury to Boyd Dowler in the first series of the game to move in Max McGee to the starting lineup. He caught seven passes for 138 yards and two touchdowns as the Packers beat the Chiefs in Super Bowl I, 35-10. We move you up to number two just a few years ago. David Tyree had not caught a touchdown pass all season, but he made two humongous plays in the Giants' win over the undefeated New England Patriots, 17-14. Tyree caught a touchdown pass, putting the Giants on the board, and then later, of course, made his mark in Super Bowl history by snatching that incredible toss from Eli Manning, 32-yard reception on third and five with just a buck 15 left in the game. Tyree made that reception, made Super Bowl history, and the Giants made history as well, upsetting the Pats 17-14. But at number one, we've got a complete game performance Timmy Smith, who only rushed for over 600 yards his entire career, which spanned all of three seasons, racked up a Super Bowl record 204 yards for the Washington Redskins in support of Doug Williams passing and defeating the Broncos 42-10 in 1988. Once again, Timmy Smith with 204 yards rushing. Think of all the great running backs in Super Bowl play. It's Timmy Smith with a rushing record. Those are the one-hit wonders on Mark Rogers TV.